Hey guys, Jimbo Eleven here, and today's episode two of Plunger Pirates. And today, what we'll be doing is I got a few things to show you, and also be doing some really cool rating. Uh, so first of all, guys, I finally got my pirate hall to pretty much two, which is really really good. Um, we have a, cool, a little bit of new resources to show you, but before I get into that, guys, I also made uh before this video uh, about yesterday, about ten twenty hours ago or something like that, I made pretty much a pirate hall. Um, one, like, base design, if you want to check it out, it's pretty much everything right here, except for, um, just this stuff right over here, because this is, t this is Pirate Hall Level 2, so it's just like that, and it's really cool, uh, it's been doing really, really well in raids, which I really like, so, uh, it's really awesome, so let's just go ahead and put that back over there, so pretty much in Pirate Hall 2, you get a lot of really cool stuff, you get another gold mine, uh, you get a cannon, and you get a grog distillery, you also unlock some really cool things that I'm beginning to and pretty much showing you guys later uh you get the gun tower which is really cool you get some mines which is really awesome and then also if you go to uh buildings you see you get an academy which is pretty much to train your uh pirates and then you get a guide hall which is to like i guess fight with other pirates against other pirates wow it just became nighttime there oh that is weird okay so pretty much what i want to do now guys is I want to first do a few upgrades. As you guys can see, we pretty much have a capacity of 2100, which is really good. And I thought we could, uh, so we could do a few upgrades and also build a few things. So let's go ahead and build a mine over here. So this is going to be something really cool. Let's go ahead and put that right over there. Uh, mines only take five seconds, which is really good. And then we'll also go ahead and get the gun tower over here. We'll just place it for now. Later, we'll actually be building them. And doing stuff with them, which is which is gonna be really really good. So I'm gonna move my cannon just a little bit right over here, uh, and then we'll put the mine back in there, and then I'll be I'll be making a better base design for um, Pirate Hall two later after I get everything max, maxed out and everything like that. So let's go ahead and do a few things. So we have one builder pretty much left so I think it, what would be really good is pretty much to upgrade our cannon right over here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now we got, uh, we're going to get a level 2 cannon like these guys over here, so it's a little bit more damage. Can mines be upgraded? Yes, they can. Okay, that is pretty good. Wow, that is expensive to rearm it, though. So let's go ahead and do some writing right now, guys. I've been doing a little bit of exploring the seas. Uh, you, you, sh you would lose your shield. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. One guy attacked me. He had a ton of pretty much overpowered troops. He was like, I think he was like a farmer or whatever, but he had all these really hardcore level troops that pretty much like one shot in my buildings. So I couldn't really defend against him, unfortunately. Uh, but it is good, of course, for people that are at your level and stuff like that. If they're at a certain level, guys, you should definitely be able to easily wipe out their base. So is this a pretty good base? Yeah, but it doesn't have enough loot. I want pretty good loot, but then again, not like the hardest base ever to beat because uh, I can't face, like, really, really good bases right now. Uh, so we got this base over here. Looks pretty good to beat. I don't know if there's a mine right there. Looks like there's a few mines in these areas. And what do we have over here? So we have a few defenses down there. And let's just move on to the next base. Uh, I'm just looking for a really good base, guys. Um... Uh, Hmm, it's got it's got some really good defenses, unfortunately, so I can't do that. I'm trying to find a base that relatively the town hall is not in like an area that could really affect me. So oh, sorry, the pirate hall. So this looks like a pretty good base to fight against. Hopefully, there's no mines or anything right here. Yes, there's nothing. So we'll send all our troops over here, and then at the exact same time, we'll go ahead and send two of these guys in. And also one of this troop, and so this is pretty much one of the coolest troops ever. Look at that attack damage on that one troop there. It's like the ultimate sword fighter troop, but it just it goes after buildings, which I really like. So look at this, look at this troop go. It has like so much attack strength, which is really awesome. So it can like fight any single defense. It just can't, it can't handle multiple defenses. So it can go through this whole entire base and probably just wipe it out easily. Um. Unfortunately, you can only have one of it, so that is definitely a disadvantage, but it's still pretty cool. So hopefully it doesn't get really wrecked. So yes, we're already at uh, pretty much one star, which is really good. Hopefully it gets rid of this, because that is one of the biggest uh, concerns I have right now. Um, that's going to be really, really easy to get rid of, because uh, pretty much the motor, I believe it has a certain attack range where it can't hit you from. 
If you're close enough, yes, it cannot. So now we're going over here. Oh, that is not good. Destroy that building. Okay, so they're doing it, which is really good. Hopefully, it gets destroyed in time um, because we are losing a lot of troops down here, unfortunately. That is not good. Okay, so yes, it got destroyed. Nothing else except for the building now. Uh, so it go pretty much this troop after goes after this building right over here, which is really good. And it doesn't like it in the range of the cannon on the boat, which is really good. So it's pretty much safe there, which is really awesome. Uh, does it have? Does this base have anything else in it? I'm just doing like, uh, I'm just looking a little bit around it. So it has like a really cool decorations, which is pretty cool. So I don't think it has anything else other than that. It looks like if this troop attacks that building, yes, no, no other defenses. And also when this troop is done attacking the buildings, it pretty much goes on to like the normal structures. And this troop attacks so fast it is just unbelievable. Um, in terms of how fast it can attack. So that is really, really good. Okay, so let's go in there, attack that. And now it's going to go over here. Just, this, like, the combos that you can do with that, like, heavy, uh, sword fighter troop. And then, like, your little, um, shooters in the back is just amazing. So we're at, we're at 91%, which is really good. So I believe that will be the last building over here. And then we should be done from that. There we go, 94, I think one more building. Maybe it's somewhere down here. Yes, it is. So it's one troop that was pretty much fighting it for the longest time over there. So th there we go. We got our troops coming in here. Um, and yeah, that should be pretty cool. So we should be able to get in that, guys. And yes, total destruction. Really awesome. We got full base, pretty much destruction. I really like that. So now we got a rank of 40. Uh, or Oh, wait, never mind. It's 50. That is even better. Um, so we're just about done these upgrades, guys. So Cannon's done that time, and that is done that time. So let's go ahead and speed that up, because I have some other things that we're going to build right now, because we have enough to build this. So let's go ahead and do it. So we're going to build the Academy right over here, which I will put, um, for now I'll put the Academy, like, right over here, because it's going to take a while to build. Actually, let's just slot it. Let's put it somewhere. Yeah, that's a perfect spot. And then over here... We'll go ahead and get out the guide hall and place that right over here. Gotta find a spot. There we go. We'll place it there. So these take a long time to upgrade, so we'll have to leave them there. And then our ship, I'm gonna go ahead and speed that up so we get our ship back to go back to exploring the seas. Um, and then, so journey completed. Got some of that stuff, which is really good. Uh, and then we, I believe we get back our troops, which is really good. So let's just go back here. We should have them back in here awesome uh did we lose any troops uh we don't have one of these so um that is not good uh we need one of these troops guys is there any way that we can um get rid of one of these guys i guess not i guess what we're gonna have to do is pretty much get rid of those troops so i guess we'll just fight like this and see hopefully we can do it but with that troop it just it really helps fighting and makes it much easier which, that's what I really like about that troop. So, we we don't have that much gold, guys. So, we do have to be careful about how we attack. And I don't want to lose pretty much any of my points. So, I do want to be careful. Uh, So, let's just go ahead into the next base. There's so many guys that are, like, they have so low, like, points. But they have, like, the best base ever. They have such good bases. And I they, they, they're just, like, farmers in a way. But, like, they have their, pretty much, they have all their... Their, uh, what's called pirate hole in the middle, which really really makes no sense how there's such a low level at this point. So we got this guy over here. I actually am gonna fight this guy. The reason why he has a lot of stuff, and I have no clue how he has all uh, like he has all this stuff, and I want to steal some of it. So is there any in these like? Is there any in here, or are they all in his storages? They may be all in his storages, but where are his storages? I think. Here are a few right over there, so we should be able to just take out this base. Oh, we got this troop right over here. Uh, so we're gonna have to get rid of this. How should we get rid of this? Uh, oh yes, they don't. That troop only attacks if they're far away, not close. That is really good. Okay, so you should be able to do that. We'll throw another guy right over here, um, on the water, and then another guy right over here. Is that a bubble maker? I have no clue what that is. Oh no. No, we have this cannon attacking, so we can't we can't fight over there. So we're gonna have to put them right over here and attack. Um, then we'll send a few more in, guys, just so it can pretty much help out there. 
Hopefully they cut more in this way, and I want them to cut in this way, so I'm sending a few in here to pretty much cut that way. Hopefully that guy at least cuts in there, because they should have a ton of storage. I should have got their gold mine too, but I have no clue where it is. Uh, I should have sent one over there, but I doubt that they have their gold mines are in the middle, so that is okay. That's all, all good. Um, so they're attacking that, which is really good. We're getting a lot of uh, grug, which is really good, or whatever. Um, so that is really awesome. So the only good thing, guys, about having those little farmers there is you can now take all their loot from you. So that is just really good. Uh, we did get a defeat, but then again, we did get so much. Uh, what's it called? So much just grug and stuff like that. What is it again? It's uh, grug. Yeah, grug. Okay. Okay, that is good. So we're at full grug right now, guys, which is really, really good. And that is pretty awesome because now we can do a few upgrades on these buildings right over here. Uh, of course, later once we have this, we're going to go ahead and upgrade our gold storage and stuff like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get some more troops over here. I want to this time fight with this troop again because it is a really, really good troop. Um... In terms of what it can do and like take out the structures. So go ahead and speed that up really quickly. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and fight again. And let's see what we can do. So looking at this base right over here. Hmm. Can we take this base? It looks relatively easy. What do we get? We don't get we don't get a lot of plunder. I want a lot of gold. Don't really have don't really care about pretty much the uh, what is it? I don't really care about the grug right now because I do have full grug, so there's really no point of me getting any more. Um, so it looks like it may be on the outside, but then again, it may be on the inside. And I do want to show you guys pretty much a raid where I actually do really well on one. I don't want to do like the last one where I didn't show you guys that much. So actually, this is not a bad raid, guys. So we're going to go ahead and fight this. Um, and pretty much send our troops like this. We don't even need that many troops. This guy only has one simple cannon, which is really good. Uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and from these sides send in some other troops just so I can get rid of this base. Um, and then what happens if you send, like, could you send a troop back here? That would actually be pretty cool. And then, like, it, like, rows in. I guess you could. I really don't know. Uh, so this is pretty easy base to fight, guys. As, like, the cannon there. Maybe that guy moved that defense over and moved that one too over. Oh, it does have a cannon here. Never saw that, actually. I really actually never... I, I didn't see that. It was, like, it was like covered from this angle, so I'm like, oh, one cannon. Oh, another one over there. Uh, but if he did move some stuff over, and he put a cannon there and another one there, that would be not a bad base design, so I would definitely have to use this troop in that circumstance. But we should be able to get rid of this base very, very easily and definitely claim some more points because we need to get back up there. We're only at 40 points. I want to stay about 50 points and then probably by episode 5 or 6 or 7, have about 10 points, because that sounds... Sorry, not 10 points, about 100 points. But I really don't know, like, if, like, 40 points is a lot. Maybe it's a lot. Maybe, like, the best player has 100 points. It could be that, and, like, I really don't know. Oh, we got up by 11. That is awesome. So we got a lot of gold plundered. Uh, let's just go ahead and collect our gold right over here. We don't have anything, we can't really do any upgrades, unfortunately, guys, like I said before. So, that is pretty much going to be it, guys. Uh, right before I do go, guys, we're going to explore the seas really quickly. I want to show you what I've done pretty much in the seas right now. So, let's also set sail right over here. So, I did a little exploration. I want to explore more on this side over here, but I can't really get there because of how my boat is. It won't let me get there. It'll only let me get, like, halfway there, kind of. As you guys saw at the beginning, I was only there, so can't really explore anything, so I'm only exploring the sides for now. And then after I, after I'm pretty much done the sides, I'll go ahead and like do an upgrade on my boat to make it better. So is this gonna be easy raid? Oh yeah, well, that was an easy journey actually. I thought it would be like a little bit of a longer journey. So we got one gem which is really good. Uh and let's go ahead and claim our troop back. And we'll set sail again. So I think this will be a Quite a long journey, unfortunately, guys. Um, not that long, but it's going to be a little bit, uh, pretty long journey. So, unfortunately, guys, that's going to ha have to wrap it up. If you did enjoy this video, a like would really be appreciated. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And make sure to apply to the Jimbo Evan Craft Network for a 70% revenue share. But that's going to be it, guys. This has been Jimbo Evan, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.